All right, out here at Lake Cayuga, just caught this one, new rig. It's pretty cool. Cody, thanks for sharing this with me. I learned about it a while back, but you're like, dude, that's the deal. That is the deal. You gotta stay tuned. This is awesome. You know, we're learning this thing together. It is the free rig. It's new, it's exciting, it's something you must see. Catch his big ones. Catch his big ones. The right, free rig by Cody Meyer. First ever fish on the free rig. Dude, you were telling me about this technique. And I was like, what? And I'd read about it, but I've never done it. And I got these new Jackal honey nugget baits. Highly pressured area. Yes. We've been doing this maybe 10 minutes. Caught hey, one. Did I Look not that. say Jared? Yeah, he's a, he'd seen some on the panoptic. He said, throw right behind the boat. Threw out there. Boom. Oh, he threw my honey nugget. Good thing is I got more. So here's what it is. Not the biggest bass, but it's a nice one. Good way to get it started. Let him go. So I read about this technique a while back. Um, and actually I learned about it from this guy, Jackal. Uh, I did a I caught some fish on the honey nugget on sight fishing on Clear Lake. And he's like, dude, you got to throw the free rig. So I did some research, kind of didn't understand it. But then Cody is telling me he went with some guys from Jackal or uh, Daiwa, Japan, and they absolutely mauled them. Crushed them. And so he gave me some confidence in it. And he's throwing it now too. And we're kind of experimenting. But it's a real simple rig, right, Cody? Yeah. So this is all it is. You get a tungsten drop shot weight not with the clasp on it just a you know so the line will slide you put that on there it's a little quarter ounce tungsten weight and then i'm throwing 10 pound sniper i guess it would you know six seven eight nine ten i mean yeah slider line for sure i'm throwing a three odd ewg trocar hook and um, <laughs> that's it so you throw it out there it all goes down like that and basically when you twitch the rod the weights stay in here, but the baits, when you're moving that, the bait floats up here. So it naturally just slides down through the water and kind of, I don't know, acts more natural in the water, I guess. You tell me the story. Yeah, so here's the deal. So I'm, I'm the same way, you know, being originally from Northern California, I'm really into uh, what's new. What's new from Japan, more importantly, they fish so much pressured stuff. I heard about the free rig. I actually got asked in an interview a couple of years ago have you thrown the free rig? And I said, the, the what? I had no clue. So it wasn't till just recently, um, I fished a tournament on Lake Oneida. I get in the boat with a couple of the Daiwa Japan uh, anglers, Koya Fujita uh, being one of them. And they started not just out fishing me, sm smoking me. I'm talking five to one at least here. I'm throwing a drop shot around. Um, some isolated rock and stuff that I had fished in the tournament and got fourth place in. And uh, they were catching so many more fish, it was unbelievable. So finally broke down, what are you guys throwing? What are you guys doing? And they pulled it out and they were throwing a couple different baits, you know, some from Japan. This was one of them. It was a Daiwa Nico Fat. And there's all kinds of ways you can rig this. There's some guys that use some beads, some stuff like that. Uh, but basically, this was a setup. You know, this is a quarter ounce, little little tungsten weight here. It's just going to free slide. And the way that you fish this thing, like Jared mentioned, and the way that they fished it was they throw it out, they let it hit the bottom, and you're going to fish it kind of like a Texas rig, really. But what they would do, and this is what I did not understand at the time, they would pop, pop, and on the last pop, they would pop it a little bit harder and then let the bait sit. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop this thing up with the weight and then the weight's gonna fall down and the bait's gonna do its thing. So it's gonna have a natural uh, free fall, you know, whether it be what I'm throwing right here, what Jared's throwing. That's a little honey nugget, I got one out. But it's kind of different, it's obviously different than that worm. But yes. it could be like a little bait fish, a whatever, a crab, a crawdad, you know, but it's pretty cool. But yep. you know what my secret was, Cody? Uh-oh. 
I put the pot skis on there. <laughs> you haven't pot skied in a while, buddy. Well, I just been uh, trying to find exactly where these dudes went. This is an area we just fished. We're on Cayuga. We're out in some deeper water. You know, that 15 to 20 foot range. You know, we got a uh, tournament going on as well. So we're staying back off some of these. These are highly, highly pressured fish. And this free rig is something really cool to throw at these fish uh, to get some bites. Like I said, we just got out here. There he is. Oh, oh, just missed them. But you can see you want to pop it up, you know, give it a quick pop and then let it fall. Let the bait sit. That one just crushed it too. Kind of jacked my worm up. But like I say, this is an area that I was fishing in the tournament, drop shotting, and caught a lot of fish. Didn't throw the free rig in the tournament. It wasn't till afterwards I really thought about it, even though it should have been on my mind. But just extremely easy to fish. You know, I'm thinking floating baits are gonna be awesome. This is what they were throwing, something like this. There's a lot of baits right now from Japan as well, like Jared's throwing, that were designed for this. So something that fish haven't seen. We're gonna try it right now. Hopefully we keep getting bit, but it's a good sign we've been out here a couple minutes. Yeah. We've already caught That's one. That's pretty cool. That was my first ever free rig fish. <laughs> so. Yes. Nice, Cody. Bass. Bass. Not a big one. Still fun though. Still fun though. The old free rig bass. Old free rig bass, man. That thing thumped it too. So is there a song you sing when you free rig? Keep on rocking in the free world. Or free fall. Free falling. Hey, that's pretty embarrassing. And so is the size of this bass. But we're just getting started. We're out here. This is new to me too, guys, because I just learned the hard way that they catch lots of bass on the free rig. So Jared and I, we're learning this together. First time throwing it. We're getting a few bites. We've been out here maybe five, 10 minutes at the most. Whoa. This is where we fished the tournament. We're on the spot <laughs> and the free rig is playing. Still fun though. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they bite it so hard. Oh, there goes my another honey nugget. Dude. That's it, man. I'm losing my honey nuggets. It's worth it though, catch bass. Hey, thumping it, huh? Thumping it. Dude, it's kind of like real crisp. Just poof. Yep, crazy. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, dude. He's decent. Mm -hmm. Big, big one. Dude, free rigging. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. I think I'm loosening the drag a little bit, Cody. He's dogging. Oh, yeah. Cody Meyer, look at that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I got to land him. Oh, Jared. I got to land him. <laughs> Come here, you free rig fish. Look at that. <laughs> the yeah. honey nugget in action. Oh, that's funny. Dude, little three odd tro car hook. Smoked him. 10 pound line, 10 pound sniper line. That's awesome, man. All right, we're going to go ahead and let this one go. And uh, I'm going to talk about the gear I was. Using, like I said, uh oh, he's gonna jump. He wasn't done yet, Cody. He's still <laughs> looking for the free rig. No, uh, like Cody and I both said, you know, this is all new to me, it's new to Cody. So last night when we were kind of getting rigged up, I'm like, I wonder what kind of rod, what kind of reel, you know, spinning rod, bait caster. And Cody's like, well, dude, I think we can get away with throwing 10, 12 pound line. You know, I know you told me, what, some guys catch them on six, eight, eight pound, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, some but, go six and eight. It's just, it's more comfortable. We're yeah. fishing grass today in eight and 10. And honestly, I feel like this is a technique you could throw with a casting rod and have more control 
a little bit yes. more power. I feel like I could fish a bait a little bit better. Well, and plus you're using a, you know, like I'm using a three-aught EWG style hook. Yep. So you need power to drive that hook, you know. So that's why I went with just a seven foot six medium heavy casting rod Tatula, regular Tatula. Now that I fished it, I would recommend that medium heavy action. Not too, not like a medium because you're not gonna be able to get a hook into them and not a real like heavy power action. So a medium heavy rod, I went with 7.6 just because I, this is like one of my versatile rods that I love fishing with. And then a Daiwa to Tool Elite, a seven one to gear ratio. Cody, what rod are you throwing? So I'm throwing a seven foot medium heavy uh, finesse rod. It's a Daiwa Tattoo Elite. This is designed by Brent Ayler. You know, this thing actually has quite a bit of backbone. You know, just a general purpose uh, rod for me. I pitch a little jig on and uh, I'm gonna throw this free rig on it or a heavy drop shot, something like that. I agree, I want a higher gear ratio reel. This is a 7.1 Daiwa Tattula SV103. Again, a quarter ounce weight, three yacht hook. I'm throwing a little owner uh, J hook here in this little four and a half inch Daiwa uh, Nico Fat by Yamamoto. So it's not a heavy combination. I wanna be able to cast it a long ways. I'm throwing 10 pound test as well. And uh, I feel like this is a, a good combination. You know, like I say, you can do it on yeah. a spinning rod as well, but um, it casts really well with this SV spool. You know, we're using, like say, lighter gear and uh, you have a lot of control and you can get a really good hook set when they're out there. Here's the problem, Cody. I only got two hunting nuggets you left. You got two left, man. We're here for can we a couple hours. <laughs> We've been here for 10 minutes. Can <laughs> we're we, almost out of baits. Can we overnight, well, not even, can we send Tackle Warehouse send us some more within the hour? Maybe, it's never been done before, but, but uh, no, a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know even know what color that is. Kind of like a smoked blue flake. Yeah. Kind of natural looking. I like it. Potski time. <laughs> A little dab will do you. Nope, bass bite. Uh oh, Cody, my drag's loose. <laughs> oh, that's a big one, dude. Dude. Oh! Hey. Jared, we, oh. liter we literally just got back. <laughs> oh my God. To where you caught your wood. This is where we caught him in the tournament. Dude, that was a freaking giant. <laughs> Six pound. My drag, dude, my drag. Where's my worm? Cody's on. Back to back. Back to back, bang, bang. Biggin? No, not like the one you just lost, bro. Dude, what? Dang, that thing bodes you up, Jared. Hey, but what a cool little deal. I mean, that thing goes through the grass so well, too. And it's uh, it's completely weedless. Yeah, I gotta get back out there. There's a bunch of them there, Jared. This is, it's funny, we're fishing out of Jared's boat, of course, and I fished here in the tournament, and I, I didn't know exactly where, so we pulled up. Jared caught that, that one, we caught a, a, several more fish. And we just came back. Jared just lost that one. I just got that bite. And there's actually a point down here that's just as good, if not better. So we're bringing this free rig through here. There's There's been a ton of pressure. We're still getting bit. Every time we get around this stuff, man, it's like we instantly get a bite, huh? Gosh, dang, dude. Dude, are you all right? That, that rattled me right there. That was a big one. That was my bad, dude. I didn't. I didn't reset the drag when I caught that four pounder. I loosened the drag right here by the boat. That thing stalled you out, man. Oh, I'd be sick in the tournament right now. That thing stalled you out. You couldn't even move it. No. How big do you think it was? I did catch, just to let you know, two six pounders like within two casts of here in the tournament. Oh my. <laughs> Dude, Jared, that thing crushed it. No, but man, did it crush it. it smoked it. Smoked it, little guy. But you know what? The more I'm throwing the free rig, 
the more confidence I'm getting, honestly. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. This sucker's feisty here. Let's go ahead and get him back in there and get us another one here. All right, so here's the deal, guys. I really didn't want to talk about this today, but because I like you, here's the deal. I'm throwing the free rig, deep grass, baits down there. <clears throat> when the dead bite is, is happening, this will turn the dead bite on. <laughs> That'd be awesome if you get bit. <laughs> Free rig in the real world. All right, Jared. Well, hey, you know what? That was awesome. That was a learning experience for me, for sure. I mean, I've never thrown the free rig. I saw it in action uh, a couple weeks ago. Something so cool. This is definitely going to be something that I add um, to my lineup for tournaments. No, I doubt. can't even stop fishing it. I know. No, it's been it's been fun. I say though, we go try something else. I don't know what yet, but we gave this a couple hours. We caught some fish. We had some fun. We learned about this technique. Uh, if you guys liked it, make sure you guys like, share, tag a friend. Make sure you guys check in back next week. What are we going to do? We don't We don't know. That's the thing We're with gonna us. We're going to do something. Maybe small mouth, maybe large mouth, maybe big water, maybe small water. Yeah. So make sure and check that out. But uh, hey, also don't forget to enter this week's gear giveaway for your chance to win some awesome Daiwa products. And uh, yeah, we got to plan the attack. Check free, out the free rig. The free rig. Oh, I'm bit. Not.